Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Tesla offers 10,000 free supercharging miles. So Tesla did it back in 2022, December of it to be exactly. And when I saw this incentive and with the, uh, I forgot, $7,500 off, I went ahead and made the purchase and got myself 10,000 free of supercharging. And I think right now I still, I have until December to use all of them. And so this one, 10,000 is a lot. So if you don't drive a lot and they limit you to only use it within the two years. So unless you plan to take it on like a long road trip or, you know, use Uber or something, but otherwise 10,000 miles, it will be hard for you to use up all of them. So let's go through this article. Tesla has increased its end of quarter delivery incentive to offer 10,000 free supercharging miles to Tesla owners who trade in for a new vehicle by the end of the month. So there is a condition to this uh, 10,000 right here. You got to trade in the vehicle by the end of the month, what, which means March 31st of 2024. And Tesla will not guarantee, so you must pick up the vehicle. There's no exception to this. Okay, so Tesla has done this many times, and now it becomes as it's known as the end of quarter incentive. All right, so lately Tesla has been offering customers to take delivery of a Model S, Model X, or Model Y by March 31st, 5,000 miles uh, free of supercharging on their new vehicle. Today, Tesla announced that Tesla owners who trade in for a new car by the end of the quarter will get an extra 5,000 miles for a total of 10,000 miles. This new incentive also applies to leasing, but not all uh, the original 5,000 miles, which is available to non-Tesla owners who buy a new car, uh, cash, or through financing. Supercharging miles will expire two years after the date of delivery. Tesla incentivized deliveries by the end of the quarter to limit the amount of inventory on hand. Since Tesla is one of the few direct to consumer automakers and doesn't sell its cars to dealerships, it owns them all the way until the customer takes delivery. This means that if Tesla has a vehicle on hand at the end of the quarter, it spent tons of thousands of dollars to build it, but it doesn't recognize any revenue for it, even if it's, or it's already sold to a customer. Therefore, it can look really bad on its income statement at the end of the quarter. I'll be curious to see internal numbers at Tesla about how effective free supercharging miles are at boosting sales. So to be honest with you, for 10,000, it did get me to buy the car. All right, so, and I bought it at a like, super high price. So 10,000 miles sounds a lot, and it is, but with only two years to use them, you probably won't use them all unless you're planning a big road trip or use it for a car like Uber. Most of the charging happens at home for most people. That is exactly correct. I do have a solar system on my house, and therefore I charge it my house most of the time and so i try to go out and use supercharger as much as i can but sometimes it's not uh, convenient for me to do so so yeah this article is 100 percent right so they said the value of the 10,000 miles varies from 800 dollars all the way up to 1,500 dollars because the cost of the superchargers varies depending on the time the locations where you charge it all right so well this is good because if you're like on uh, you're undecided and you're like, should I get a Tesla or should I not get a Tesla? Or if you're just wanting to get a Tesla, this is just the right time for you to get it. Just make sure you pick it up, take delivery by March 31st. Okay, once again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment below. But other than that, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.